All right, Austin, thank you. The owner of a sports cafe is left picking up the pieces after rain and high winds from last night's storm tore into his roof. WCPO 9 News reporter Monique John is at the scene in Lawrenceburg, Indiana with new information. Monique. Good morning. Good morning. We got to speak to the owner of Willie Sports Club Hidden Valley a little while back, and he said that he's preparing to assess the damage and uh, that he's really looking to get those repairs done and to reopen as soon as possible. You know, at this point, he really doesn't know how much it's going to cost to get those repair done, repairs done or, you know, how long it will take. But they're really taking this whole situation in stride. Now, thankfully, uh, no one was hurt, even though the restaurant was at about 75 percent capacity. So that was about 50 customers and employees that were inside at the time. And those people were able to take refuge in the basement banquet hall of the restaurant at the time of the incident. We're told that staff, as well as some friends of the business and a worker with Ray St. Clair Roofing, helped putting up, um, helped to put up tarp on the roof to patch it up and minimize damage. Uh, and the kicker is, of it all is that this roof was only put up about three months ago. But the owner says that he and his team are again taking this situation in stride. Here's more of what he had to say. Right when this kind of happened, a tornado warning went off in this area. So, you know, I mean, there was a high, there was a, a little bit of panic um, with some of our customers and all of that. So, but again, we were able to, we have a full basement to get everybody downstairs and take care of everybody. So everything was handled very well from the staff and I'm very happy with how it went. Now, as of 11 o'clock last night, emergency officials said that they didn't have any reports of structural damage. Um, but if you're coming out from Cincinnati into the Lawrenceburg area, just be careful. There are some down trees and uh, power lines alongside the state line road. So just be really careful out here with the debris on the road as you're driving out this morning. Reporting live in Lawrenceburg, I'm Monique John, WCPO 9 News.